name is Curtis Taylor. I grew up in the Kimberleys and the Pilbara. So 180k south of Broome is where I grew up, a community called Bijanga, and went in between Bijanga and Banangur, which is Cotton Creek, six hours east of Newman in the East Pilbara. Uh, so grew up on the coast and in the desert. I'm an artist. The medium that I started doing was video installations, but slowly moving into uh, sculpture, uh, working with wood and other elements. So slowly moving away from video, and I find that really interesting. The fascination with sculptures, it just come from being inspired by different artists here in Perth and all over the world. I just wanted to get more hands-on and just to stop thinking about artwork that I'm going to make with my head and just be more kind of, yeah, hands-on into sculpting and making that thing. But, you know, you still get to think about how you're going to, you know, shape it. But I guess, yeah, the hands-on doing part, it's more of the work that I've been doing for a long time, so mainly just on the computer, editing and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it was good to yeah start with, you know, just a big stump, and slowly cut it. Maybe sometimes I'd cut too much off, but you know, then I could, you know, see where I made a mistake or learn from that. We came from different artists here in Perth and all over the world that I've been fortunate enough to meet with and talk about the practice and how to go about sculpting something. I didn't really study art, I just, you know, from sitting down with my elders, from sitting down with mother and father, watching them paint, telling their stories about what they're depicting on the canvas. So, yeah, that's how I started, was just looking, just being in the moment of them in the process of making their story come to life. Yeah, I didn't really study art, studied media for a little while, but yeah, I kind of got sidetracked making videos for installations and just picked it up along the way, I reckon. The material that I use for the spears, I just wanted to, it's all acacia wood, we call it dao, and it's a straight, thin tree that grows up in the, in the desert, and a lot of people cut it off to make spears or make digging sticks for, you know, in the past would be hunting and still today use it for a ceremony or in terms of punishment or delivering justice. And the other ones that I use, I still wanted to kind of real authentic, you know, so just using the hair and it didn't have to be hair that I made this big hair belt which is the ladies that they spin together, and the, the hair is, comes from the grandchildren of the grandmother who's gonna spin the, the hair. So I really wanted to make a, a larger scale piece on that, and still using the hair, some of my hair, and hair from you know random people from Perth that I got from the hairdressers. <laughs> and still using human hair, I think, you know, staying true and be authentic to the practice and to the piece. I think when people come and view it, that they'd be satisfied or happy, or maybe they may not like it, but yeah. So these ideas, is a collaboration between me and another artist from Yirikara. Northern Territory, East Arnhem Land. Another indigenous young artist that, you know, we first started out with the same medium with video, moving away slowly from video this year. So, yeah, it's been exciting. Making the spears, you know, from collecting them to burning them to straighten them with heat, 
and then skimming off the bark and then keep skimming off until you get a, a place on the wood that's going to give you a really good finish. And to working that, it takes a long time, filing it down, sanding it till you're satisfied with how it looks. I think I'd spend an hour on one spear and for this show, I got 50 spears and Ishmael got 50 spears. Yeah, I get satisfied after uh, working with the material and um, after you know long amount of time, sometimes I just get stuck in a moment that I you know even forget you know what time of the day it is or how many I've done. It's really good, I think, just for me to or for anybody who works on a piece for you know a long amount of time that they have a lot to think about. When I've been shaping them, I contemplating about other things in my life and and about the work and about the piece and the meaning of why I'm doing it like this in this way and taking time to shape it to make it to the standard that you know I've seen my old people, my grandmothers and grandfathers have done in the past. Most of the the pieces that I have done are contemporary stories of uh, Jugurba or Dreamtime stories from the Western Desert, from my area. So the sculpture I've been working on is about a man who were angered by the, this King Brown snake in the dream time, that he chased him across the country and every, he tried to kill him. So every time he'd throw his spear, he'd leave a water hole wherever his spear landed. And at the last side created this permanent rock pool, which is uh, really deep and it's always water there and, and that's where the King Brown lives underwater in the story till this day. So that's, you know, I draw inspiration from, yeah, my, one of my dreaming stories from my region, which is uh, East Pilbara, Western Desert, and, and oral histories of my uh, grandmothers and grandfathers and my parents growing up explore yeah, contemporary East Pilbara, Western Desert art, and mix it in with uh, different ideas from different artists come from different countries. Always been fascinated telling stories. So after writing some of my own short stories and working in a collaboration between many young people back in the desert. And to see that in, you know, on the big screen or bush screen for us. And yeah, it was really uh, inspiring for us to kind of see the whole process, you know, from, from writing it, from making it, it into a film and then showing it to everyone. For me, you know, growing up watching movies all the time on video cassettes and DVDs, yeah, I always really wanted to make a make a movie. So it was yeah, good to start with a short first and see where we go from there. I just goal as an artist I think you know just keep telling stories keep making stories keep collaborating with stories and the more people that I inspire and bring young people with me along the way along the journey and I've been really good in doing that but when I go back home to the Western Desert bringing young people along and you know making them a integral part of the project whether it be you know working with a camera person or a sound person you know, in film, I take those kind of projects on seriously when I go back home and, you know, make sure I give them, give the young people a, a good chance, something for them to go away because, you know, in the future they'll do the same, you know, bringing back skills and their knowledge 
back to that community.